Hey everyone, I'm in Elden Ring. Here I want to show you how to use incantation magic. So this is one of the two types of magic available in Elden Ring and I think it's pretty cool because it lets you do stuff like this. This is Flame Sling. Boom! It also lets you do things like healing such as this rather cool looking healing spell. Check out the runes beneath them. Pretty cool, huh? So how does this work? What classes do we use and what do we need for it? Well, there's a few different bits and bobs that you need for this. The first thing that is key to this is having a sacred seal. So if you look in my inventory down the bottom there, all right, my equipment, on the left-hand side, there's this weird looking thing with sort of two prongs on it that keeps disappearing whenever I want to look at it. Uh, but there you go, see the bottom left, that's sort of weird thing on a key ring. So if you have that equipped in your hand, you can then use the spells that are showing in the top slot. I'm flicking between those with the up button on my d-pad so i have flame sling and urgent heal so as you progress through the game you can increase your memory slots um, so you can hold more spells at any one time to flick through but to begin with you you can only have two spells and indeed the confessor that i am here doesn't have flame sling as standard so i'm going to show you where you get that uh, and how the finger seal works if you don't have a finger seal you can buy one at the round table hold but you need to get to the round table hold first and then you need to go and find the twin maiden husks who usually have it but some players seem to find that they don't have it so and i can't work out why so <laughs> if that's the case don't know but i've got a video on how to get the finger seal so i'll show that in a separate video anyway in the equipment when you have the finger seal it needs to be equipped you can either put it in your right hand or your left hand and you can see here that i have two things equipped so i have a, a shield and then i have my finger seal so in this case i can flick between these two uh, using my d-pad so here if you look at my inventory i'm hitting the left on the d-pad there's my shield and there is my finger seal you can see when i flick between them when i've got the shield on i can't use the spells they're grayed out but if i flick to the finger seal they then turn into color and then i can use them and then to flick in between them is up on my d-pad so there we go urgent heal or flame sling if i want to cast one of these i hit the left button on my uh, controller which would be l1 on the playstation and if i click it once the spell is cast quite quick if i hold it down i get a more powerful version of the spell that flies out if you look up the top, I've got a blue bar that seems to be diminishing, and that's called your FP, so your focus points, uh, and that diminishes as you use spells, so you don't have infinite use of them. To get that back, you need to either use some, uh, oh, my brain has gone, some Cerulean Tears, which is that blue uh, flask that we've got down the bottom of the uh, sort of inventory there. I'm accessing my pouch here by holding down Y, which would be triangle on the PlayStation, and then I'm hitting right on the D-pad so you can drink that, and you can see the blue bar fills back up. So let me just show you this quickly on an enemy, and then I will flick to another one where we look talk about the classes and stats and stuff like that. So let's take the flame sling, so that's in there. To make sure you hit a target, you wanna lock onto the target by pressing the right stick button. So now I'm locked on, I know I'm gonna hit that particular person with the flame sling. Sometimes you may want to sneak to get in a little bit closer. And if we hold down the flame sling, out it goes. And bosh, look at the damage that did. 194. If they've got a shield up, that may block a little bit of it. But you can see took them out nice and quick with this. So let's do it again here. So the distance is important though. I may not reach them from there. I did just about. And you can see that one because they didn't have a shield. They got taken out even quicker. So let's do it again here with this dude. So lock on. Hold down left button. Bosh! Very nice, huh? So you can see I've taken a teeny bit of damage there. Teeny tiny teeny. But if I want to heal that, of course, the normal way I could use my red sacred tears here. Um, uh, but in this case, I'm going to use the heal. So I'm going to flick to the heal here. I've still got enough blue bar. And then I'm going to hit the. So I've hit up on the D pad to do that. And then left button to heal or let L1 on the PlayStation. And you can see now my red bar has been healed by that. So it's a pretty cool combination of stuff. You've got this ranged attack um, by the spell and you've also got um, the ability to heal and many other things. So what about spells? Where do we get those from? The first thing I want to jump out to first though is the class. So I'll just uh, jump out here and then I'll come back to this character and do that for you. So when you start Elden Ring as a new game, uh, there are many different character bases or classes that you can use. So you can see them all here. Um, but there are some that are particularly uh, suited towards incantation magic. So they are the Prophet, 
and also the confessor. So why do I say that? If you hit show attributes, which uh, down the bottom it says Y to show attributes for me, because I'm on the Xbox, might be triangle on the PlayStation. Um, but if I do that, what we're particularly interested in is faith. So if we look through all of these, faith nine, eight, 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 seven, 16, hello, the prophet is gonna be very good at incantation magic. Um, and if we keep going through eight, six, 14, hello, the uh, Confessor is also going to be good at incantation magic. The other key thing that's needed for incantation, remember, is some sort of sacred seal. And you can see in the equipment at the bottom of each of these, they also have a finger seal. So the Confessor has one, and so too does the Prophet, but none of the other ones do. So while it's possible to do incantation magic with these other ones, uh, one, you're going to need to increase your faith to at least 10 before you can start casting magic. You're also going to need to learn spells from somebody and you're also going to need to acquire a sacred seal. So there are several in the game. The uh, finger seal is available at the round table hold from the twin maiden husks if you haven't got it uh, from one of these. But if you're really interested in incantation magic, I really recommend you go for one of these. Personally, I suggest the confessor. So although the spells that they start with aren't quite as good, I think they look pretty darn cool with that rather cool cloak rather than this weird wooden block and the blindfold on the prophet. So you can see faith 16 against faith 14. Well, the prophet is slightly higher geared towards faith, but I think the ability to have the sword and the sort of broader sort of uh, uh, range of stuff that the confessor has at their disposal with a good sword, good strength, dexterity, um, means you have a, a good sort of combination of a bit of melee, but also some powerful faith that's possible over time. So back to our confessor here that we've got, and that they've got some spells. Now those spells are not what you start uh, the confessor game with and indeed you can't get them until you get to the round table hold so i'm going to talk about that and also how we memorize spells and what you start with with the confessor so let's just rest at a site of grace uh, and have a little look at memorize spells so this is where you memorize spells that you've purchased so if we look at this um, you can see that the confessor currently owns three spells so there are two at the top which are the ones that are in my memory slots uh, and then I can change any of these for any of the other spells that I know. I only know three spells at the minute. So if I wanted to change, for example, Flame Sling, down the bottom it says hit A to OK or X to remove. But if I hit A to OK, I will go down to the bottom area here and I could change that to the other spell that the Confessor starts with, which is Assassin's Approach. If you look on the right hand side, it tells you about this incantation. It says silences footsteps, reduces full damage slash sound. The other important thing is the attributes required. Down the bottom there it says intelligence zero, faith 10, arcane zero. So I do need at least 10 faith to be able to use this. If you're not sure what faith you have, if you back out and then have a look all the way here, if we hit our pause button and go to status, you can see the attributes of your character. So here you can see my faith is 15, so I'm fine for that. And that's the most core attribute that we need here. Let's just go back into uh, rest in the sight of grace and have a little look at that flame sling and um, just put that back in there so we'll just change the assassin's approach back to the flame sling and again you can see this one is fairly fairly happy uh, with the attributes required of 10 faith so it says yeah all is good that's all you need to use this one so where do we get more spells let's talk about that um, so the key thing that you need to do for um incantation there's not actually that many sellers for it but you need to get to a round table hold pretty critically fast with the confessor if you want to use spells and the way this works seems to have changed in the game now when i first started playing it um i got access to round table hold by making my way to storm hill shack everything was good uh melina appeared and i was asked did i want to go to round table hold i'm not sure now whether you need to defeat uh, a couple of bosses here there's Market the Fell Omen and Godric the Grafted. He may need to defeat those, but there's an easy way to do it, which I show in a separate video, which is to ride over here and access this area called Kaelid. You only need to get to this site of Grace, and then Melina should appear and invite you to go to Round Table Hold. When you get access to Round Table Hold, I will take you there now. Um, you get access to a couple of cellars, uh, one of which is pretty critical to you, uh, and that is this dude that I'll show you here. And they are called uh, Study Incantations. Uh, and we've got these different ones. So Urgent Heal I already have. This heal there, 
Um, so you can see this one needs a little bit more faith. So uh, you can see it's a more expensive spell, but it should. Um, you can see that one also heals nearby allies as well, so that could be quite useful. There's Cure Poison, there's Magic Fortification, and Flame Fortification. So these are protective spells, so that this, you know, this one is increasing the magic damage negation. So if a character is against you who's using magic against you, this will protect you a little bit against that. There's also another nice flame one here called Catch Flame. This momentar momentarily sparks flame from hand. Uh, and this one produces a shockwave that pushes away foes. So if I want to buy any of these, I just simply hit select A for in my case, but it may show a different one down the bottom for you. So I hit A to go OK. I'll buy that one. I'll buy that one. Uh, what else should I buy? That, that'll do me for the minute. So I've got those. And then we need to memorize those spells. But the other thing I want to point out here while we're at this area is you can also buy a memory slot um, by the Twin Maiden Husks, which are down here at Round Table Hold. So we'll just go here. Pretty sure there is. Yeah, there you go. So a memory stone for 3,000. So if I buy that, um, obviously you need runes to be able to buy all of this stuff. Uh, but we'll get that. And then what I would do is just jump away from here and we'll go back to uh, where we were a minute ago. And I will just show you, where the heck was I? I can't even remember, here's that one, yeah. Um, I will just show you memorizing these spells. And now that we've got that third memory slot uh, with the memory stone, um, you can see that I've now got three spells at my disposal as opposed to two. The other thing I want to talk about is how you increase damage of um, all of these spells over time as well. So let's have a little look here. So we rest at the site of grace and then memorize spell. And you can see now I have three slots. So the third slot over I can hit A and then I can have a little look at these things that I've got. So I've got catch flame, which sparks flame from hand. Or we've got rejection, which will push away foes. So we could have a little look at that. So let's pop that in and see what that's like. Um, so we hit B to come out of there, B to come out again. And make sure I've got that on and my sword. Uh, and I will flick, whoops, to rejection there. And we'll go and see what that one is like. Um, and the last thing I want to cover before we finish this is um, increasing the damage of these spells, how that works. So we'll just go up here, sneak up. Let's see what happens when we cast this. Pretty cool, huh? So they're on the floor, then we can attack them with our sword. Job done. Uh, let's just flame sling him again for fun. Yeah. Right. All right, so the last thing I want to cover uh, is what about um, how do we increase the damage of this over time? So you're, there's a couple of ways you can do this, one of which well, I might be able to do this now. Or, uh, let me have a little look. What have we got? Yeah, I don't. I will just show you this. Um, I'm just going to travel somewhere else where we can manually do it. Church of Ella. Um, two places, easy places that you can level up your equipment. So there's, there's either you can enhance the damage of something with um, smithing stones. Uh, so let's just see here. If you go to the Church of Ella and then use the smithing stone, as long as you've got uh, smithing stone one, you can increase the damage of something. So um, this one here, uh, you can see if I add a smithing stone to it, it's going to increase the incant uh, scaling slightly. Um, so it's not going to do masses of improvement with just one smithing stone, but it will improve it slightly. Um, so you can add smithing stones to it to improve the power of it. So we'll do that. We'll say OK. And if I did the next one, you can see I haven't got enough smithing stone ones. Um, but it would increase the physical damage, but also the incantate scaling would go up again. So that's one way you can improve the effectiveness of your finger seal. Now, the other thing to see, if I added the second one, look at the attribute scaling. So it says strength stays as E and faith stays, um, actually improves to B. Now, what that means is that if I level up my character and pump um, stats into faith, I'm going to see a bigger boost by increasing faith than I would increasing strength. 
for the capabilities of this finger seal. And because we're interested in the spell side of things, it's the faith that's gonna make the difference. So when you come to level up, uh, which you do by resting at a site of grace, if you pump stuff into faith, you're gonna increase the dam damage capabilities of your finger seal or the healing capabilities of it. So you go to level up here, and if I had enough runes, which I don't, if I pump them into faith, uh, I would see an improvement there of the damage of the finger seal. So that's it really. That's how you use incantation magic in Elden Ring. I hope that was useful to you. I hope you've been inspired to go and try a confessor. If so, give us a thumbs up, please. That's much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. Uh, I've also got super thanks on my channel. If you fancy dropping me a little bit of a super thanks, that's awesome too. Thank you so much if you do. And hit that subscribe button if you'd like to be kept up to date with my latest and greatest. I've got over 100 tutorials on Elden Ring. I try and cover everything as clearly and concisely as I can. I hope it was useful to you and thanks so much for watching.